it's time now for uh, uh, <laughs> What were you going to uh, say? I was going to say, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so <laughs> Helen McGinn has uh, given us the Chianti. We brought that over here. She said this would go with the food. I, I, I. Uh, Nisha's cooking. What you cooking? I am cooking a beautiful Kima <laughs> shepherd's pie. <laughs> is it going to be one right. of those? Isn't I this convivial, my... though? Right. Right. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> you with your glass of wine. It's home from well. home here on this morning, isn't it? <laughs> but this is such a homely dish. So it's this shepherd's pie, which is the ultimate kind of domestic bliss kind of oh, dish, isn't it? It's really it. comforting. Um, but it's my twist on it. So it is a kima base. And so we're going to make kima. Kima just means minced meat oh, in right. India. Oh. And because we are mincing meat... Um, we are starting with our meat base, which is onions, ginger and garlic in the pan. I'm making no sense. I can't feel my tongue anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good wine. Um, OK. Aye. Aye. <laughs> so onion, ginger, garlic in a bit of oil. You don't need a lot of oil, but we do want those. Yes, please do start. Yeah. So I really want you to sort of taste this. I always love it when you're eating while I cook, because then you can taste the flavours and you sort of understand what I'm saying. Oh, yum. Because it's Thank this you. building of this kind of perfume that <gasps> goes in these kind of meat curries. So we fry and, and we do want them kind of golden because you don't really want raw onion with your mash top. Right. Okay. You don't want that sort of high note of, you know, raw kind of pungence. Yep, yep. You want it all mellow and sweet. And so a little tip when you're frying onion, ginger and garlic to get them browner quicker mm -hmm. is to get them to release their waters so they evaporate quicker and that's by adding salt. So add a little bit of salt. I've never and heard that before. Frying things and it expedites the cook. So a little bit of salt in just because this is kind of real time and we're getting to that lovely How brown is stage. I made a soup the other day and I put asafoetida in it. I cooked with the onions and with a bit of potato and then put different vegetables in it and stuff. And it was so good. And I said to my husband, try that. What do you think in it? And he went, well, it's really good because I can just taste onions and garlic. And I went, but it hasn't got any in it. Isn't that, that a is, miracle? That spice is incredible. That's incredible. It just, I can't tell you how much it means to hear you even talk about asafoetida. Honestly, from, yeah. where, from 1970s Britain where I grew up, the fact that we're here on telly mm. saying words like asafoetida. It would have scared the horses, oh, yeah. I tell you. No, Honestly, really it's good. amazing. Yeah. And, and, it's, and you can get it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is incredible. I mean, you yeah. should really be getting be able to get that now, you know, in, in supermarkets should be a little it's, bit braver. Mm. Because there are many people that can't tolerate onions and garlic in everything. My dad. Yeah. So exactly. I'm gonna get him on it. Because he hates if you have yeah. intolerance. Well, yeah. yeah. And they are quite difficult ingredients to die. I mean, they're delicious. And if you can add yeah. them to grass cuttings, your grass cuttings are gonna taste great. As my grandmother would say, but um, they, you know, to, to find a substitute that is completely just a natural thing mm -hmm. with such a great story behind it. I'll cook with it again one day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm so glad you used it. So into this, I am putting my minced lamb because it's your shepherd's pie. so pie. delicious. Yes. But to make my minced lamb a little bit more interesting, I'm going to go in with our meat spice. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if all you have in your kitchen is garam masala, then that will do. So garam masala, Make sure I've got the right one. Garam masala is, of course, the, means, the, the main meat spice. All of aromatics taste like an armoire, you know, with kind of a you know, chest of drawers, all those woody perfumed spices. And go You put a lot heavy. more in than you think, don't you? So how you much really do you do. put in there? I put about two big tablespoons. Two big tablespoons, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, so the, the thing is, you do want that punch because we're going to then put this duvet of heft over the top of it. You want that kima to sing and, you yeah. know, come out. So yeah. you want it to be quite boisterous. Garam masala is the way that you get your basic spicing. But then, because we want it to be a bit more formidable, we go in with extra cumin powder. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, you know, let's go with all the brown sort of spices in the cupboard. Just think about it. Garam masala with meat curries, and if you want it a bit stronger, cumin powder, not chilli. And how so much of that even? I'm going to put a heaped teaspoon of cumin heaped powder teaspoon. in. OK. If I wanted it softer, I would put coriander powder in. And I feel like I repeat myself, but I, I would never tire of this kind of information. OK, a little bit of chilli and turmeric. So remember, chilli and, chili and turmeric in every single curry. To and the... it's important to say, when you say spiced, there is zero hot yeah. spice in this. Oh, it's it just, just aromatic, isn't aromatic, it? Aromatic, yeah. Lots yeah, of yeah. different fl levels of flavours. Yeah, that's, that's what's so beautiful about it. And it's getting away from the idea that Indian food needs to be hot. I just mm. don't get that pain with food thing at all. Um, the way I'm going to bulk this out, and this is a nice little sort of, you know, domestic husbandry tip, is chickpeas. Chickpeas mm -hmm. go really well with keema and peas. We always serve keema 
with peas in it. So if you go into a restaurant and order kima, good kima should have peas in it. Yes. And we want then a bit of sweet and a bit of tang. And the way you do that is tin tomatoes. Right. Tomato puree is possibly just a bit too strong. And remember, oh. that, you know, you want a, a, a shepherd's pie to be bubbling in the way that that mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So you want a degree of moisture in that sauce to get that bubble. If you have this very dry base, you're never going to get it frothing up and, you know, giving you that golden yeah. come hither. So it's tin tomatoes and you want it quite wet. So we've got the spices in there. I added salt and I added a little bit of sugar because a bit of sugar is great with tomatoes. You don't need it because we've got a lovely sweet potato topping. So I cook that. I get this. I think I've only got a couple of minutes, but let me try and put this together over here. And no. sweet potato as opposed to tatties? Um, I do half and half. And the reason is, yeah, so tatties are great, but sweet potato, I mean, are you get, do, you, do you appreciate the sweet potatoes in that? Mm, do you like a, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, you know, because we've got the spicing, I think it's just really always a lovely thing to have that little bit of extra sweetness. They're also just healthier, Phil, and that's how I feel. You know, the, the, the carb content is just different. They've got great fibre. So I've gone half potato, half sweet potato, and into that... We add, because it's mash and we're in the English kitchen, we add a little bit of milk or cream. Mm -hmm. You don't really need cream, don't believe in it, and butter. You yeah, don't believe good. in cream? I don't in food. In my restaurants, we don't have cream. In... We don't cook with cream in India. Honestly, you leave it in the milk for the babies to drink. You know, okay. we come from a, a, a culture of paucity. So this business about having to have these heavy curries, you should... This is light, you know, you should want yeah. that again in two hours. Yes. And that's the secret of a really good sort of again Indian in meal. Minutes. Yeah, I know. Really. I'm so glad. Mm. And then you simply, and what's great about the sweet potatoes, it makes it much more spoonable and spreadable. Mm -hmm. Another good tip is to let the base cool before you then spoon your mash on because it's just easy. It doesn't, in, it doesn't sort of interfere with your, your forking uh -huh. as much. Oh, it's yep. so good. Okay. And I love shepherd's pies, so it's nice to have something that's just a bit different. Yeah, and, and honestly, the only difference is it's those ti that little tiny spicing. So even if all you do is add that garam masala, I'm looking for a fork to make it look pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's there a go. pleasure. A clean one. Thank you. Just to do a bit Thank of the you. Mary Berries to it. How long is it in the oven for? And then in the oven, 25 minutes on 100. It's just nothing, is it? 25 no. minutes on 180, because, of course, all the ingredients are cooked. Thank you very so much. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous, thank you. gorgeous thank as you. always. Um, all the details for today's recipe and uh, more delicious ideas from our chefs, uh, all you've got to do is download the free This Morning app.